Now, a search and rescue operation is underway off the coast of Sicily after a boat believed to be carrying 250 migrants capsized. It happened about 110 kilometres south of Lampedusa Island. Military rescue teams from both Italy and Malta are responding. Survivors are reported. Barbie Nadeau joins me now from CNN Rome. Barbie, what do we know about perhaps the number of survivors who have been rescued? Well, we know there are about 250 people so far on uh, this ship that, that has gone down, reached troubled water right off uh, about 60 miles off the island of Lampedusa. The Italian press is reporting there are around 10, 11 bodies that have been pulled from the sea so far. But of course, you know, there are no passenger lists in these situations. There, nobody knows exactly how many people are on. And until they can really start interviewing the passengers, the survivors, the people that did make it, will they really understand, first of all, where they came from and, and uh, how many people were on the ship. It's important to note, though, that 503 people arrived today alone on the island of Sicily. This isn't Lampedusa, but this is on Sicily. In addition, to this 250 people who are in trouble off the island of Lampedusa. They came in fishing boats, all in about 100 at a time, fishing boats and Zodiac uh, rubber boats, things like that, you know, really dangerous conditions. And the seas are very rough. They're expecting a sea storm. The weather is worsening. So even the recovery mission for this particular ship that's in trouble uh, is hampered by weather and darkness uh, off the island of Lampedusa, Fanula. And Bar uh, Barbie, this is not a new problem for Italy and indeed any of the countries there along the Mediterranean Basin. Um, what is the prospect for those who do survive these dreadful trips? Well, so many of them are repatriated back to their country of origin, uh, especially if they do not qualify for some sort of political asylum. Italy right now has a very, very strict rule about immigration uh, and, and, and asking for political asylum, as do other countries in Europe. But when they come into Italy, uh, you know, lots of times they just get sent back. So many of the people who survived that terrible disaster last week, the 155 people, are said to be given a, a sort of amnesty because of the, the, the disaster that they were in. But that's, you know, we're going to have complaints from the people who, who have been repatriated. You know, you've got to sort of treat all of these migrants and refugees and people uh, uh, you know, looking for asylum in the same way. And it's, it's a, quite a controversial issue, quite a political issue here in Italy. The European Union this week pledged 30 million euro to help settle some of these people. But still, there is a lot of follow here in Italy. And if they don't qualify to stay here, they will have to be sent back, Fanula.